Hello, my name is Ryan Watkins, and today I want to talk a little bit about the research done by Paul Nutt at Ohio State University. The article I want to talk specifically about is investigating the success of decision-making processes. What Dr. Nutt does in his research is he looks at four different types of decision-making that are common within organizations. The discovery decision-making process, which is very systematic, and you identify the problem, and then you look at alternative solutions to the problem, and then you go through the decision-making process of whittling those down to the one that will get the best results. A variation of this, which is the emergent opportunity, where you start out in a systematic process, but then once a good idea is identified, you drop the process and just select that as the solution. The third is idea and position, which is where you start out with the solution at the very beginning, and then most of the process is about justifying that decision. And the redevelopment process, and this is where you start out in the discovery process or in the idea and position. You get partway through, halfway through, and then you find out it's not working, so you start the whole decision-making process over again. To look into these types of decision-making processes, He's collected business decisions. Most of these are large businesses, um, or large business decisions at least, around buying new product lines, acquisitions, and so forth. Each of the decisions, he has his graduate students interview three people involved with the decision in the decision-making process. So they interview the decision-maker plus two secondary raters for the decision. So these are the people who can verify what the initial person is saying. In over 25 years, he's collected uh, over 400 examples of these decisions. What he finds is that the discovery process leads to about 90% sustained adoption and 85% complete adoption. The emergent opportunities process leads to 73% sustained adoption, 66 complete adoption. The redevelopment process leads to 64% sustained adoption, 57% complete adoption, and idea and position leads to 55% sustained and 41% complete. So as you can see, as you go down from discovery, you have a big drop off. And if you're starting out with the solution in mind at the beginning, your success rate is almost half of that of those um, people going through the discovery decision-making process. So these results are quite significant in my opinion. So how do these apply? Well, I think that you do not want to abandon systematic decision-making. Even if a good idea comes along, you don't want to go into the emergent opportunity just because the idea sounds good at the time. Stick with the process and it does work and it leads to better adoptions. Try not to impose solutions too early in the decision-making process because this can throw everything into a tizzy. And no decision is too small. Again, they look at a variety of decisions within this 400 sample. Um, some are smaller decisions and some are very big decisions, such as acquisitions. And it seems that the data holds steady across all the different sc scales of decisions as well. So use systematic decision-making whenever possible. If you'd like to know more, um, Dr. Nutt produced a book called Why Decisions Failed in 2002. And this article that I'm talking about today was found in the Journal of Management Studies um, in 2008. So here's the rest of the reference for it. Thank you very much.